Okay, guys, we got a critical situation here. Not only have I been drinking, but uh, we're going to get a lot of text messages from somebody who wants to know how to adjust the Gibbs on the waist. Okay, these guys right here. He cracked a screw loose. Now, this little plastic block is tapered. It wedges in there. The problem is, what you need to do when you adjust this is... You also you need to run the extrema of y-axis that way you can make sure you didn't get it too tight now having slop in, it, in x axis let's see here yeah I got a little bit now right here you crack the screw loose that screw locks on to that that's the plastic wedge feature We've got something similar on Z-axis right here. And then what we've done is you can actually set, oh my goodness, I did see something. Okay, right here, okay? This is where you've got basically a jam nut that you can um, adjust the lash. Now, I'm gonna remind everybody, this is quarter 20 threaded rod. This is not anything significant. There's no precision to it. We do have a nice little dovetail, um, but you're gonna have to get that block right there. Now, this one right here, you got a set screw, and then there's that guy. And unfortunately for X axis, it's back here. And I, I, I can feel it on the back side of the table. Now you're probably wondering what's going on with my table. I've got the uh, 17 inch compensator because I got to compensate. And um, right here, I put these threads in and that allows me to put things on here and clamp from this direction, which I've only done a couple of times, maybe once. I think that's what we're gonna say. We're gonna say one time. Um, okay, so. There's your video for the day. Um, that is how you adjust the slop in the way of X, Y, and Z. There you go. Bonus footage. Have a good day.